Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. People ask me all the time, Alex, how come you're on the air and haven't had repercussions? I've had plenty of repercussions. But the whole government's not evil. That's why they have specialists that do this bad stuff. And more and more, they're on the defense because even though they've set up this giant police state, now they've discredited themselves where they don't have public support. In fact, a lot of people are now being found not guilty in IRS trials. That never used to happen. In fact, the biggest losses the feds have now are in tax trials. Uh, a lot of people across the board, juries, grand juries know the truth. And as people write books and we do radio shows and all of it, we expose that they kidnapped Congressman Hansen, rendition like he was Osama bin Laden, flew him off the middle of nowhere. This is what they do. Or then chained him up in buses and drove him around the country until his feet burst. Mark Adams, I would encourage you to get your book out. Uh, everybody who's writing a book gets contacted by folks that want to put it out or whatever, and that's fine. But, but I would just encourage you, because I was asking you during the break about when's your book coming out, to get it out as soon as possible so it's there, so the truth gets out about what happened to Congressman Hansen. But regardless, in the, in the three, four minutes we've got left before Jesse Ventura joins us, uh, tell us other points about uh, George Hansen and what he went through. Well, thank you. One thing I should try to point out, it would take a whole segment to explain how they rigged George Hansen's first prosecution. When I say they, I mean specifically the so-called public integrity section at the Justice Department. What a joke, public integrity. It has a whole long and sordid history to it. That'd be like calling the Ku Klux Klan the pro-black people group. Indeed. The person who rigged that prosecution, working in that so-called public integrity section, was James Cole. Now, James Cole today is Deputy Attorney General. And if we go back and cover some of the recent hearings from last month, it was revealed how the so-called public integrity section was collaborating with Lois Lerner. Oh. The subject here was how they can destroy the Tea Party. So the way to destroy George Hansen, it was a tandem effort between the IRS and the so-called public integrity section being led by James Cole. Absolutely, and they're so discredited now. The agency's a fraud to begin with for the private Federal Reserve, but they shouldn't be able to prosecute anybody because they're known organized crime. Indeed, and what they did to George Hansen 30 years ago is being repeated today. But now they're purely a democratic operation. Did you hear about Dallas and other areas? When this came out, they had public celebrations with Obama signs and say, yeah, we're going to audit you. And MSNBC says, yes, we're coming for you. Ah, ha, ha. They're on TV bragging that they're criminals. Yes, they are, they are not shy about it at all. They've gotten away with so much. And what we've seen happening right now with Christine O'Donnell, and with uh, Senator Grassley. Well, if we step back and look at the larger picture, really that's all just kind of surface froth compared to what they've gotten away with for the past 40 years or more. Well, I want to get you back in a few weeks to look in just on Hanson. We kind of told the backstory. Now we'll talk about just what happened with Hanson, the details for about 20, 30 minutes. Then we'll spend time on the current things and the way you're crystallizing what they're doing. But it's just so incredible that they get caught and they celebrate and say, of course we're auditing you. Of course we're coming after you. You're a racist. And you're not, I mean, it's just bizarre how criminal they are. And Akron and all these groups are above the law and can do whatever they want. And I mean, it's just, it's just so wild. Thank you so much, Mark Adams. Is there any website or any place people can visit what you're doing? We're getting one under construction right now. I guess the last words I would have to say is, the deadly arm that wields the hammer of tyranny is the IRS. 
The Tea Party has to assert itself. Save America. Shut down the IRS. Absolutely. Criminal operation. You won't be getting any sound bites here. For the next 50 plus minutes, we've got former Minnesota Governor Jesse Ventura on the broadcast. And I have been very close to this case in the last two plus years between Jesse Ventura and Chris Kyle, both Navy SEALs. Because I was the guy that ended up getting a hold of Jesse through Tyrell and was the one that told him what had been said on Opie and Anthony and then Fox News. And he was just shell-shocked. I was there on audio Skype with him and his wife, and, and I've known him for years, about nine years. We've become friends. He's come down and visited me in Austin. I've traveled around the country with him. I know he's a real guy. Doesn't even mean I agree with all his politics. He doesn't agree with all of mine. But we're both real guys. And then I looked into Chris Kyle. God rest his soul, and I'm sorry for his wife. And we're going to go to Ventura to give you the rest of the story. But I sat here when he was in a 3M tournament last week and couldn't really respond because he committed to be part of that and watch the media hit piece the next phase. First, I get calls saying Jesse Ventura got in an argument with a cop, almost got arrested, speeding to an airport in L.A. I call him up in Minnesota because I, I got his home number and I said, Governor, uh, they just said last night you were in L.A. flying. You don't fly. He goes, no, not for over a year, Alex, as you know. What are you talking about? I said, well, they claim you're... You're, you know, you're running around doing this. It was all over national news. He went, that's crazy. I've, I'm on record. I'm here. I well, you know, was doing business yesterday. I played golf. And let me come on your show. Remember that? So that didn't work. There was all this other weird stuff going on. And then right as he had been on the show about a week before, he was driving into Mexico in his RV to go to Baja, where he spends part of the year during, when it's below zero in Minnesota. Just giving you a background story, and we're going to him. Because he'll never really defend himself. I guess he defended himself with the trial. We'll get the inside baseball on that. But I watched it as a media analyst. I know how these tricks work. So I couldn't get a hold of him for three days because they don't have a cell phone that works in Mexico. As they announce, perfect timing, that he was saying, I'm glad the SEALs are dead, and he got knocked out, and all this made-up stuff, which would have come out in the news at the time if it was true. So I call him, get a hold of him. At first, he goes, come on, Alex, don't, you know, you never joke around. I don't appreciate this. I'm, no, they're really saying that. You know, what? And I'm not going to go into what he privately said, but it really hit him hard. And I'd seen him meet veterans in airports and stuff with their arms and legs blown off and get tears in his eyes, saying, that's why I'm against these wars. And then they don't take care of you. Of course, his dad was in World War II, won a bunch of bronze stars. His mom was in World War II, where my grandfather was at in North Africa. So he really cares about our military. But again, they could do this to anybody. They've tried to destroy me before with some similar dirty tricks, but not as concerted. And we caught them quickly, so they backfired. So then he sues Kyle, because Kyle won't back down. He said, just say it isn't true, admit the truth, I'll back off. But Ventura started seeing his movie offers and TV offers get cut back. It really defamed him. People said, what are you doing having a guy on the air? I could have testified, but you know they didn't ask me. What are you doing having that guy on? He's glad the Navy SEALs are dead. So it was a PSYOP written by News Corps. They have an insurance policy when they lose a suit. It's called uh, omissions insurance is, is what they call it. We've bought it before when I have been involved in big films and things. Because, you, you know, you've always got to be careful. We've bought it before from, I'm not going to get into it. You can buy it from Lloyd's of London or anywhere. And so that's a lie that he's suing his wife, okay? He sued the man who was alive who then mysteriously died up there at that shooting range, and that's very mysterious. And so then he wins the lawsuit, and I see the Minnesota newspapers with nothing about him winning. It's all about the trial and, and, and what had been said by Kyle about him. Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, all did the same thing against Ventura. And I'm going to him, but I just want to defend him here because I haven't done this yet. I mean, I've done it some, but I wanted to do it with him here so he could respond to spur him to tell the story that he knows. Because he just says, oh, it's sea story, sailor story is not true, hurt my reputation, I had to, you know, get the truth out, my name. You know, nobody's a winner. Well, the truth's a winner because he knew what was going to happen. But Fox was all, yeah, after the guy knocked him out, and after he was glad the seals were dead, everybody knows Ventura says that. I watch Fox and Friends say this. Everybody knows Ventura says this all the time, he's glad troops are dead. Then they didn't show a clip. Just like MSNBC says I'm deeply racist, doesn't show a clip.
And you say, oh, everybody knows Ventura, you know, says this all the time. And yeah, he got mad at Kyle, so he sued the ladies, you know, his wife, the widow, and now has taken everything she's got. None of that's true, folks. Ventura now joins us. I'm going to shut up and give him the floor. We're going to skip this network break coming up to gain back the time. Thanks for giving us the hour, Governor. Thanks for telling the truth. And thanks for standing up for everybody because I admire the fact that they tried to destroy you and defame you. You stayed the course. You made the judicial system work with the jury. And the system cannot stand it. They cannot stand it. Go ahead. Well, you know, it's, uh, it, it was an exhausting couple of weeks, Alex, uh, sitting in that courtroom and, and seeing your, their, their only defense was to attack me personally okay, because they had no evidence. Now, all of their witnesses, they promised the jury they were going to parade 11 witnesses up there who saw the event. Uh, the only one that it turned out saw the event uh, I think 11 or 12 times we impeached his testimony and he really perjured himself between his deposition and what he said on the stand. So he had no credibility. But they promised that there'd be 11 witnesses up there that would verify Chris Kyle's story. They produced zero.